Hello everyone, this is Melanie and welcome back to Melanie B's Creative Studio where I have another episode of Shipper Sunday and Happy New Year. So I know I missed you guys the last two Sundays. One was the weekend of Christmas and then the next one was New Year's weekend and I had the flu and actually for both weekends. So I missed visiting with my family. So this past weekend, instead of being able to record, uh, you know, you can hear I've been hoarse. I went to go see my youngest grandbaby and my son and daughter-in-law and got to spend Christmas with them finally a week late. So priorities, priorities. But I am bringing you another new release from Shipper and it is gorgeous. And you guys, just look at it. Can you say yummy delicious palette? So blues, greens, cools. I mean, hello, beautiful palette. So this one's called Our Planet. Can't imagine why, but it is a triptych, but it is a little different triptych than we're used to because the panels are all three the same size and they're square. So this one's different than the ones I brought to you prior. So we're gonna open this one up. We're gonna take a look and I'm gonna tell you about new things that I have on the horizon that I'm gonna bring to you in the future for some shipper Sundays. So be watching for that. Let's get this one open and let's take a look. Now I wanted to be prepared because I am running so far behind and I went ahead and swatched the paints, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. You know how I love to keep you in suspense on the Yummy Delicious palette. So I'm gonna turn that upside down. For those of you who have not caught Shipper Sunday in the past, they do include a paintbrush, which is a very nice paintbrush. A lot of people love their brush. I can't say I have used it because I'd be lying because you know I'm a little spoiled to my own paintbrushes y'all I'm just I, you know I can't I can't lie about it uh, they do include the numbers stickers to number your paint pots so that is included as well in the bag are the paints and the reference guide so they do include all of the same things in their kits we always talk about it the consistency is the key for shipper paint by number kits and you guys hello Hello, yummy, delicious palette. Have I said it before? I'll say it again. Yummy, delicious, cool palette. Hello, yummy, delicious, cool palette. <sighs> okay, we'll look at you in a minute. I know, I know. I'll breathe and sigh and, you know, whatever, over you in a minute. So, they're always going to include their instruction booklet. Now, you notice, I just noticed, they did not include a catalog for me. They must have known. <laughs> that I adore their catalog and that I sit there with a big Sharpie and like circle all my favorites. And I always, it, it, they probably stopped putting it in there because I always threw it aside. But I do that as a joke because I'm like, if I look at it while I'm recording, I will forget that I'm recording a video and I'll be like, ah, I want this one and this one and this one. So I hope they didn't think I didn't like the catalog. I just don't look at it while I'm recording because I know me. All right, so anyway, when you look at their reference guide, if you have multiple panels, you'll notice that they show you a reference guide per panel. So this one's panel one, panel two, and then it continues on the back for panel two, and then panel three. So you do have reference for all of them. At the top, you'll see how to number your paint pots, which I have done already. And I've shown how to do that in prior videos so that you don't have to watch me do that every single time I do a ship or Sunday. So I have those already done. And I'm gonna take a look at the panels real quickly. You guys know when I say quickly, pfft, do y'all laugh when I say quickly about anything? I know, shut it. <laughs> we'll look at one. Oh, yay, they did include a catalog. <sighs> it's a brochure. Oh wait, I see new things. Yeah, don't look, look away, Melanie, look away. All right, anyway, so you can see that they have the three panels and they're each marked up in the right hand corner. So you know which panel is which. They have a light taupey gray line and number. So it's nice and you can cover those easily. Now you guys, one of the things I'm gonna be bringing you in a future Shipper Sunday is a potentially new method for gessoing your Shipper boards. Because I wanna make it a little easier 
and a little less intimidating for you guys to gesso your shipper boards. I know a lot of people are real nervous about putting clear gesso on their shipper boards, but because of the texture being kind of slick, I do believe that you will find better coverage from the paint if you will apply clear gesso. But there is a method to it, and I don't want anyone to mess up their shipper board or their shipper kit by doing it the wrong way. So just stay tuned for that. There will be an upcoming video about how to do it. I'm going to be testing new gessos in the future within the next week or two and some new tools for applying it. So I just want to do those tests, come up with the best method, and then I'm going to bring you what I feel like is the best method for the shipper boards. So stay tuned for that. Now let's take a look at these paints and we will be done with today's Shipper Sunday. All right, so let's take a look at this beautiful palette. Even the kind of the yellow ochres here are not transparent. So I'm like, the number three is streaky and um, maybe slightly translucent. And so that one, you know, may be an issue. Now I do want to mention this. I've also had some members on the group and some other groups on Facebook where I've seen people talking about the new shipper kits and whether the paints are the same consistency and whether maybe they have switched up manufacturers for paints. And since I have not painted any of the new shipper kits, I've been working on the Manhattan shipper painting for a while now. I thought it might be helpful for us if I actually paint one of the new shipper kits. So my plan is going to be on a shipper Sunday is to take one of the shipper kits that is a new release and actually paint it. And let's see how the paint is covering. And I'm trying to decide because I always gesso my shipper kits. I'm trying to decide if I should do maybe part of it without gesso and part of it with the gesso and kind of do a comparison. So that's something I will approach when I get to that point. But I do want to actually paint on one of the new ones and talk about what I think as far as literally painting on one. Now I did do that in the at the farm shipper Sunday where I took the Quattro and I did the rooster and we talked about the streaky paints and all that and I didn't really have a problem but I'm gonna do this again and maybe do a little bit of a paint with me session and see what I think about the paints and all that. I know there are one-offs and I'm dealing with thousands of members on my group, thousands of people through YouTube and thousands of people on other groups and so when you have that many people with lots of different opinions, you're going to have 20 or 30 people who are going to say, well, my kit is this way and my kit's this way. But I'm just going to tell you, 99% of the feedback I get on shipper kits is phenomenal. So, you know, there's always going to be a small percentage that's going to have their opinion of, I don't like it. I'm, I've got a kit that it's not the best paint or whatever. So I don't really feel like that it's a you know an overall problem but again i have not painted one of the new kits i have not really done a true test so i feel like to be completely a hundred percent bringing you factual information that i need to paint one of the new kits and that's the only way i'm going to be able to to tell you a hundred percent honestly that the paints have or have not changed so I'm going to do that in a future video. So be watching for that. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Be sure to join me on Patreon. I have a really good inexpensive membership. It's $12 a month. You get a lot of perks. So be sure to go check that out. I'll put a link here to where you can find information about the membership itself. And there will be a link there where you can actually go join Patreon. I do all of my Patreon membership stuff on a Facebook group that is just for my Patreon members, but you have to actually join Patreon at the app or online before you go to that VIP group on Facebook. Be sure to drop a comment below. Tell me what you think of our planet. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you back soon.